Hi guys, what's up? I'm back with The Expanse Season 3, Episode 4 called Reload. I am loving where we are at in this show right now. It's just, you guys say that Season 3 is your favorite, and I totally understand why. So much is happening each episode that I'm just on the edge of my seat. I'm fangirling a lot. We have, like, Christian, who's one of my favorite characters, and Bobby is also one of my favorite characters. And the entire of the Rossi crew as well, I love all of them. And they're all in the same area now. They're all going to IO. As is like the the UN fleet admiral, I don't really know how to pronounce his name properly. It's Wen, something like that. And he has given me absolutely no reason to like his character. He just consistently stays like the bad guy in any scene he is in. He wants a war. He's totally under Aaron Wright's control and I just, mm, he pisses me off. But the fact that they're all going as well to IO, I'm like, there's gonna be a showdown. And I'm super excited for that. And I just can't wait to keep going with this episode. I also really like Elizabeth Mitchell's character. She seems super like genuine in this and good. And like the, the angel voice that's whispering in the UN leader's ear versus Aaron Wright, who's the complete devil. <laughs> and I just can't wait to see more. So let's get going, guys. Okay. Bunch of missiles, or what is that? Ships. I'll go into Io. Oh, Belter Salvage Fleet. Okay. What are they salvaging? Hey, oh yeah, I remember. They're salvaging um, the Mormon ship. Drummer. Missed you, girl. The Nabu. Yeah, it's pretty big. It takes a lot of other ships to take it all the way back, I guess. Launch the Jaws. Drones. Damn. The belt has really, like, good resources, actually. Ha! That looks super cool. She's quite a good leader. I just love how everything looks this season, you know? It's very well done. It's beautiful. So much detail in this ship. <laughs> She's so cool. Half the fleet is hunting our two new passengers and flying into a war zone. Yeah, it's very, we need very... need a resupply. A Robin Graves. I feel the same way, but what else can we do? Dead people don't need their stuff. Amos. I mean, he's not wrong, but you gotta be a little sensitive when it comes to what Alex is feeling as well. But yeah, if they're not using it and you need it to do something good. Looking good! I don't know how you can stand to wear that thing. Yeah, true. It's the skin of my enemy. I guess that makes this the skin of my ex. Naomi cool. gave us these. They'll let us read news feeds. I just like keep thinking of Julie. I think Julie would want to help Holden's crew because, you know, Miller was quite close with them. I get the impression he won't be able to ride the fence for long. Let's give him a push. Damn. I like how they like confide in each other now. Um, make plans together. As the following images show. Doc. I thought we learned yeah, I was like, about leaving come on. tools to unsecure in zero G. Helping a killer would be the worst thing that I could ever do. I don't know if that's true anymore. Secure that. And then, Captain, I need your help. As far as we know, she hasn't been injected yet, so I'm still holding out hope. I'm sorry you're having to see this. Yeah. It's gonna be worse inside. You know, I'm gonna go and uh, make something nice for everyone when they get back. I like how it I seems like- I used to like this fantastic recipe for red kibble. Kibble. Red kibble. About Alex to uses table. cooking Hot to spicy. make himself feel better and try to connect with others. Are you offering to cook? Yeah. I mean, you don't have to. I know I don't. No, no, no. <laughs> what I meant was, that's really nice. Yeah, he appreciates that. <laughs> 
interesting. So we're seeing them connect more um, in this season. Is someone alive? Everyone stop moving. Someone's what? alive. Um, What's happening? Should we be worried or... Someone's calling for help? SOS. Someone's alive in here. Damn. How do they always manage to get so, like, lucky and finding people just in space? They might have found some survivors, and if we hadn't been stripping the dead, we wouldn't have. Blister seal is good. Damn. We're pressurized. Their interactions are interesting since they're both Martians. She doesn't seem to trust him. Wow. Looks quite young. I knew Mars wouldn't leave us behind. Damn. Every time I see her, I smile. You should be front and center. I come before you. He obviously doesn't like her, but he like is pretending to be nice, and I just hate that. Is for humanity as a whole to recognize that we are one people. That's what I've been wanting. Arguments Why are you at over war right now? and party must be set aside so that we can turn our attention to this most pressing mystery. Focus on and the that aliens. I must tell you, with the greatest sorrow, is the truth that Mars has turned away from. Given a chance to transcend our history, Mars has instead he insisted speech. in what it calls independence. She doesn't agree with any of this. I feel like... Why did he ask her to be here and do these speeches if he's not even going to listen to her? One human race under one unified flag and together move forward into this brave new chapter of history. Again, I'm always blaming Aaron Wright because this dude doesn't seem like he has a proper mind of his own. He needs someone to convince him to do anything. And Aaron Wright's blaming her for all those dead. I do not trust Strickland at all. How are you feeling? Dizzy. Attempting to reassess. Speaking like a computer almost. So. Beautiful. You certainly are. <laughs> Just that term being used in the show, beautiful, when describing this whole proto-molecule thing, and now a kid infected with it sees him with this new vision, and he's like, oh, this is beautiful. I just, the recurring, like, theme or word is very interesting in the show. You're out of uniform. Lol. You don't know who he is? This is a stolen Martian ship. It's our boat now. <laughs> You're lucky they so rescued you. Prisoners of war? They're no. They're not on any side. we're not in this war. She knows her? That bouncer girl made food. How does it taste? I want to know. Like, I didn't get enough of a reaction from her eating it. Did she like it or did she hate it? I want to know. There's nothing else here. That's interesting. Amos hesitated, but Prax didn't. I guess dead body is dead body, but the fact that Amos hesitated there, paused there. No one's a civilian now. Okay, all right, kids, enough is enough. All right, settle down. I said settle down. Shit, 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 Alex. Come on, I don't- I didn't think it was a good idea that he was here. Can Bobby help? We're taking the ship. God damn it. I had a bad feeling. Alex should not have been there. You should have- because then they have like a, you know, ugh. 
something to negotiate. Like, they might hurt Alex just to get the ship. A man's always been a fucking bothered head. <laughs> I saw, I saw, I saw somebody comment that in the description mouth. that he was a bobblehead. I thought it was hilarious. I didn't know she with said him, it. Right. You can fix that with a message? To the right person, yes. Hmm. This is an unavoidable. Yeah. She office. knows that she can be trusted. She, was... she knows of, like, the history that Anna has with him and that she still has some influence over him even after all these years so getting the message to her is a really smart idea and i agree with it the longer this goes the more bombs will fall please help me stop it even nomi seemed to be like hmm maybe she's right huh I'm or she sorry, doesn't like that she's influencing that can't him. be traced back to us thank you for being the man you're <laughs> you can't trust her. And I can trust you. He can think for himself more than a UN leader can, at least. It's always good to be cautious over her because, you know, she is a very important character. But she also is kind of ruthless. I'll make him go up first. <laughs> Come on. Alex, Amos can we is gonna take kill the drive him. Real quick. <sighs> Sorry. Where's Bobby at? Don't do anything stupid. He's starting to feel a little bit ungrateful. Yeah, can you... Seriously. Okay, that's good. They hit the ammo. Hold in. Yeah, you just said there was no ammo, you dummy. Oh, hold on. You're not as trained as them. But he is strong. Oh shit, 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 shit. Damn, this fight is intense. Holden, wow. Kind of impressed by you right now. Damn. Whew. Just knocked out a trained, trained dude. There's a version of this where nobody shoots anybody. Let's try for that one. You guys can't beat hey, Amos or Bobby. <laughs> Do they know Bobby? So what's all the ruckus? <laughs> wow, she's like calm about this. I think Bobby could possibly talk him down, but Amos, who mostly sees the alarm. Stay right there, big girl. Okay, I'm gonna give you a pass because you're young and stupid. <laughs> but it feels like you're doing your duty. I want you to. want to fight the enemy. I know. But the enemy is not. But I learned a the while same. back that the hardest part of this game is figuring out who the enemy mm -hmm. really is. Shit. Did I miss it? <laughs> oh, he wanted in some action, but I'm glad Bobby was the one to talk them down cuz she knows best what it is to find out who the real enemy is. Uh. No, you twisted my words. You made me part of everything that I hate mm -hmm. about all of this. Mopping up the blood. What the world needs right you now. Shut up. Life. Speak to me. Yeah. Not ever again. And you didn't need to be his hand puppet. You could have been better than this. You should Tell have him. been more Tell him. than this. I used to believe that there was a decent man somewhere inside you, buried under all that ambition. <laughs> I'm sorry I was so wrong. Yeah. Make him feel like the garbage he is. That's good. Fuck Aaron Ryan. <laughs> I hate him so much. Every episode, you're gonna hear me say that. I'm not even joking, you're gonna hear me say it. Some things don't get fixed. Mm -hmm. I want them to mend their, their friendship, because they were very close. There's someone I need you to meet. <laughs> Why me? Your friend with the gun hurt my feelings. You seem <laughs> to be the most reasonable. Lol. <laughs> you're Christian Avasarala. Yes. <laughs> the UN Deputy Undersecretary. This is going to be very tedious if we remain this dim. <laughs> I don't understand. What the hell kind of a ship is this? Right. Exactly. You're going to take the ship? Version, then. <laughs> Bobby. And tell my CO to hail a UN and Admiral in the middle of a war. Yes, exactly. 
<laughs> or Holden here can space the three of you for being such intolerable idiots. I don't think Honestly, he would do I that. I can go either way. <laughs> I'd rather do the first one. So what is this thing that you want me to show them? That smile. Christian. Find the short and I'll be brief. I'm coming home. <sighs> right now. I'm glad. I don't think her journey's yeah, over yet with this. That's the best you can this. be doing right now. Don't do it for me. I, I haven't changed anything. I, I just made it words. That can't be true. Yeah, I don't know. You know, if it. I needed to be humbled, wouldn't having all my hair fall out of done it? This, mm. this feels like over. I want to hurt her. <laughs> you are the only thing that I know I'm doing right, and I need that right now. Mm. We need you too. We love you. Come home. I am on my way. I don't think she's gonna go home. Although it would be super sweet. She already got it? You're joking. Oh yeah. Okay, perfect timing. This puts her in a very prickly position though. Couldn't let them kill the only decent cook on this tub. <laughs> Hello. Uh, I thought Nami's kibble stuff was very interesting. Hey Sailor. Hmm. Let's wage a war on that gut. Hello. <laughs> Ah, that's a nice interaction, though. Saving everyone. Yeah. You just can't stop yourself. Ain't nothing wrong with it. <laughs> oh, they still got a spark, though. I'm glad you're okay. The way he looks at her. Yeah. She must be glad that he still looked at her that way. <laughs> it's very, very cute. Oh, I only got four minutes left. Me. Oh. Oh, kid. I want to see Katoa. Katoa's in here. Why do you see that? I saw his nurse going there. Oh. Something's gonna has to happen with Jill Pierma. So close. I couldn't. Is Katoa gonna? At the end of the test when we were so far along. He out of control. Bandwidth and distance irrelevant. The limitations. He's not left there anymore. Say. Take her. Is there a smell? He killed? I didn't mean to. I... Inherent to repurposing. There's a conflict within him. Oh my f The boy is talking to the rest of the protomolecule infestations. You are right to continue. He's the key to everything. And you're saying this while he literally took apart a body. What the fuck? Uh, okay. I have a lot to say about that. And I have to start with that I still hate Jewel Pierre Mao. <laughs> That's what convinced you. See how this child can communicate with the rest of Promalkali. That's that's important. It could possibly stop what's happening on Venus. But you're literally seeing a child who you knew before he became like this. Taking apart a body and reassembling it. And that just shows how messed up Mao is. I just... That's what convinced you. That you should keep doing this. What the hell? Maybe from a scientist's perspective, sure, but you just cut this program because you saw what it was doing to these kids. But now, whatever was left of Katoa, it seems like gone almost. There was like a conflict where he was like, Strickland, I didn't mean to do it. And then there was a shift where he was con communicating with the rest of the protomolecule. That was like such a gruesome scene that even Strickland was like, Whoa, but Jewel Pierre Mao didn't even seem really that phased that there was a dismembered body on the floor with organs and shit everywhere. Like, why is he so weird? Like, that's also what I didn't understand about him because he saw his daughter after being affected by the poor molecule and he still thought like she was doing something good despite of what she had to go through. 
And now Katoa had to go through a bunch of stuff and he's literally murdered someone and he's like, hey, you were right to continue doing this to kids. <laughs> uh, it just, it just pisses me off. But at least we know that a bunch of, bunch of fleets and ships and stuff are going to Io now. There's still a window though where May is still safe. But now that they're going to continue these things on kids, will he let that happen to May? Considering that he's the only child we've seen him form a slight attachment to, probably because she reminds him of Julie. Because if so, then at least May is safe. But I hope they get there in time before too much of this experiment continues. Oh, God. And also, Anna has vital piece of incriminating evidence against Aaron Wright. She better not be caught because she could be in so much danger. We know what he is capable of. And she definitely ain't going home to her family. So that's sad for her, but she knows that this is super important because then she can boot Aaron Wright and have more of a say with how this UN leader approaches this war and everything, you know? I think that the kid who played Katoa did a very good job, honestly. I like the effects of him being all blue. It looked really cool. And I think he acted that part at the end very well as well. So that was a good kid actor, actually. Also, those uh, Martians they saved. I get that they tried to take over the ship because it is a Martian ship. Um, but yeah, they also still saved your life. You were goners before they came. And they just attacked Alex and all that. Um, I get why they did it, but I'm also happy that nothing more happened. Nobody got really hurt. And that Bobby was the one that talked them down. Because she was a super dedicated soldier, but as she said, had to realize who the real enemy was. So, yeah, I really liked this episode. It was really cool. The ending had me shook, though. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you liked my reaction to this episode. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.